She is known for her influential status in the music industry, having risen to prominence in the late 1990s as a leading figure in the neo-soul movement. She is also recognized for her distinctive voice, often compared to jazz singer Billie Holiday, and her eccentric style, which includes wearing large and colorful head wraps. Her name is Erica Badu. In the realm of music, one name stands out for her unique style and soulful sound, Erica Badu. Born Erica Abbey Wright, this American singer, rapper, songwriter, record producer, and actress has left an indelible mark on the music industry. Influenced by R&B, soul, and hip-hop, Badu rose to prominence in the late 1990s, earning the nickname, Queen of Neo Soul, by music critics. Badu's career took off after she opened for D'Angelo in 1994, catching the attention of record label executive Kedar Massenberg, who signed her to Kedar Entertainment. Her debut album, Baduism, released in 1997, became an instant hit. With singles like On and On, Apple Tree, Next Lifetime, and Other Side of the Game, Badu showcased her soulful vocals and poetic lyrics. The album achieved triple platinum status, solidifying her place in the music industry. Following the success of Baduism, Badu continued to captivate audiences with her second studio album, Mama's Gun, released in 2000. The album produced hits like, Bag Lady, which became her first top 10 single on the Billboard Hot 100, and Didn't Cha Know, and Cleva. Mama's Gun achieved platinum status, further cementing Badu's position as a musical force to be reckoned with. Throughout her career, Badu's unique voice has drawn comparisons to jazz legend Billie Holiday. Her eccentric style, often characterized by large and colorful head wraps, set her apart from other artists. In addition to her music, Badu has also delved into the world of acting, with supporting roles in films such as Blues Brothers 2000, The Cider House Rules, and House of D. She has also made appearances in notable documentaries like Before the Music Dies and the Black Power Mixtape 1967-1975. Erica Badu's impact and legacy in the music industry are undeniable. With her soulful sound, poetic lyrics, and distinctive style, she has become an icon of neo-soul. Her contributions to the genre, along with her successful albums like Baduism and Mama's Gun, have solidified her as one of the most influential artists of her time. Erica Badu's journey as an artist continues to inspire and resonate with audiences around the world. Erica Badu, born Erica Abbey Wright, grew up in Dallas, Texas. Raised by her mother after her parents' separation, she had the support of her maternal and paternal grandmothers in caring for her and her siblings. Show business was introduced to Badu at a young age when she began singing and dancing at the Dallas Theater Center and the Black Academy of Arts and Letters. Guided by her godmother Gwen Hargrove and her uncle Curtis King, the founder of TBAAL, Badu discovered her passion for performing. At just 14 years old, Badu showcased her freestyling skills on a local radio station alongside talented artists like Roy Hargrove. It was during her youth that she decided to change the spelling of her first name from Erica to Erica, believing that her original name was reminiscent of slavery. She found empowerment in the term, Ka, which symbolized her inner self. As for her surname, Badu chose it because it represented her favorite jazz scat sound and also held significance among the Akan people of Ghana, meaning the tenth born child. After graduating from Booker T. Washington High School for the Performing and Visual Arts, Badu enrolled in theater studies at Grambling State University, a historically black institution. However, her passion for music led her to leave the university before completing her degree in 1993. To support herself, Badu took on various minimum wage jobs. She also taught drama and dance to children at the South Dallas Cultural Center. During this period, Badu recorded a 19-song demo called Country Cousins, collaborating with her cousin Robert, Free, Bradford. The demo caught the attention of Kedar Massenberg, who arranged for Badu to record a duet with D'Angelo titled, Your Precious Love. Eventually, Badu signed a record deal with Universal Records. Do you want to explore more actors? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.